Salutations. Welcome to Strategy and Analysis Centre. Today's briefing, the Ali Burke Destroyer, Fiver to 100. The Ali Burke Destroyer combined an excellent air warfare combat system on a good sized hull that provided room for growth. This combination not only allowed it to still be constructed over a 40 year period, but also to strongly influence the design of other Navy's air warfare destroyers. Other ships also use the Aegis combat system, but not necessarily influenced by the Ali Burke hull design itself. This briefing will look at two destroyers most closely related to the Ali Burke, the Japanese Maya and the Republic of Korea's Sejong the Great. All ships utilize the Aegis combat system of different capabilities and Mark 41 vertical launch system. Now, Ali Burke Flight 1 was commissioned in 1991, and it set the standard for all subsequent air warfare destroyers. Some related briefings, China's Type 055 Super Destroyer, Defence and Security Treaties, and 2024, US and China in conflict over Taiwan. I won't be discussing these vessels ballistic missile defence capabilities in this briefing. The video here is of a Flight 2 Ali Burke DDG-75. The Ali Burke design has been modified and updated over the years, starting obviously with the Flight 1, then to the Flight 2. The Flight 2 Alpha incorporated well, certain changes, including though the additional addition of a helicopter hangar. The Navy, the US Navy, then shifted DDG-51 procurement to the Flight 3 Ali Burke design, which incorporates a new and more powerful and more capable radar, the SPY-6, as well as associated changes. The Flight 3 is the ultimate expression of the Ali Burke. Uh, one Example here you see is of the uh, the hangar, the double hanger or hanger for two helos, and is a significant improvement over the Flight One. We move to the Japanese Maya class. The, with, the genesis starts with uh, Congo. We go from the Congo to the Otago to the Maya, and we'll co cover those in a minute. Uh, the Japanese ships are built to different operational requirements than the US Navy's Ali Burke uh, destroyers, such as carrying extra command facilities. Now, the Congo class was very similar externally to the Ali Burke Flight 1. However, its inter internal arrangement is different uh, from the Ali Burke's on which they were based. So the differences... We move with the Congo, which is essentially externally an Ali Burke Flight 1. Moving to the Otago added a helicopter, a helicopter hangar, and then the Maya added hybrid propulsion. So while it shares the Maya, while it shares the same design characteristics as the Otago class, the Maya class possesses a larger hull to install a, hydro, a hybrid electric propulsion system. So with the Japanese, we get a broadly similar incremental progression with the US Navy it's the flight 1, 2, 2A and then 3. With the Japanese it's the Congo, Otago and then the Amaya. Then we move to South Korea, the Republic of Korea with the Sejong the Great class. The South Koreans took a different approach. There was no incremental uh, progression with their large destroyers. They went straight to a very large destroyer. Similar in concept, as we said, to the Ali Burks and the Congo Otago and Maya class, but with a significantly larger number of vertical launch system cells. While it has the Mark 41, as the Ali Burks and the Japanese equivalents have, to this the Koreans added the Korean vertical launch system, and we'll cover that shortly. Comparison, well, you look at the Ali Burke Flight 3, as I said, uh, 96 vertical launch system cells, Mark 41s, with other tubes, I'll call them tubes as I've 
mentioned in the Type 055 briefing, other tubes. These could, these could be slant-launched missiles, often anti-ship missiles, or uh, anti-aircraft missiles. There is a possibility here that the Ali Burke Flight 3s might be armed with two CRAM launchers. So the CRAM launchers, each CRAM launcher can have 11 cells for the RAM short-range surface-to-air missile system. So that's a possibility. So we could see up to another 21, uh, 22 tubes on the Ali Burke Flight 3s if they're equipped with two CRAM launchers. I mentioned earlier that the Ali Burke has the Spy 6, which is a significantly more capable radar than the Spy 1. And in a way, it would be more, it would be a fairer comparison to have the Ali Burke Flight 2 Alphas here, as they have the same radars as the Maya and the Sejong the Great. And with a potential total of around 82 vessels, that's what's uh, planned or envisaged at the moment, 82 of all Ali Burks, not the Flight 3s, but Ali Burke Flights 1, 2, 2 Alphas and 3s, something around 82 in total, in total, which is a very impressive number. If we look at the Japanese Maya, uh, a larger ship, 96 uh, Mark 41 VLSs, so the same, an additional 8 surface-to-surface tubes here with the Type 12 surface surface missile and as I mentioned the SPY-1 Delta Victor. So the same radar that's on the Ali Burke Flight 2 Alphas. A total of eight vessels, not eight of the Maya, that's comprised of four of the Congo which we talked about earlier which is essentially a Ali Burke Flight 1 with additional command capabilities. The Otagos, two Otagos, broadly similar to a Flight 2 Alpha as they have a helicopter hangar, and then two of the Myers. So that's how we get to eight of this class, of these iterations of the Congo, Otago and Maya. Moving to the Republic of Korea's Sejong the Great, a large number of vertical launch cells, as I mentioned earlier. We've got 80 Mark 41, so the same system as in the Ali Burks and the Japanese Congo, Otago and Myers, with an additional 48 Korean VLSs. Now the Korean cells largely accommodate their land attack cruise missiles, think of something like a Tomahawk, and their anti-submarine warfare system, so think of something like the US ASROC. It also has, I've got here on the total of others, another 37 tubes, as I'm calling them. This is made up of a 21-cell RAM close-in weapon system, so essentially the same missile as the C-RAM, but organised in a slightly different way, and 16 surface-to-surface -surface, uh, SSM 700 kilos. For here, think of basically a harpoon. So you've got 21 short-range surface-to-air missiles and another 16 surface-to-surface -surface missiles. That's how we get that 31 other tubes. Again, as with the, the Congo, Otago and Maya, the Japanese ships, we have the Spy-1 Delta Victor. And six vessels, that's three already commissioned and another three building. In summary, the three countries have evolved the Ali Burke hull and the Aegis combat system to suit their own needs. For example, Japan and Republic of Korea don't have anything like Ticonderoga class ships or large aircraft carriers, so command functions are more important for their vessels. For the US, the Ali Burke Flight 3, really gone as far as the Ali Burke hull can go. But it's more than just an air warfare destroyer now, it's a multi-mission vessel with most likely the best vessel-based radar in the world with the Spy 6. And it's ideally suited for working in a Carrier, uh, carrier strike group. For the Japanese, the Maya, heavily influenced by the Ali Burke hull, with additional command responsibilities, as I mentioned earlier, certainly able to operate with US carrier strike groups, where the US carrier strike groups can provide that additional surface strike, which the Maya itself may not be as strong in as other vessels. So, and it has an air warfare destroyer focus. 
And finally, the Korean Sejong the Great, less influenced by the Ali Burke hull, still with the additional command responsibilities that we see on the Japanese ships, and with a focus on deep land strike, uh, bearing in mind that these ships uh, are looking at taking on the North Korean missile sites, uh, ballistic missile sites. So it's interesting to see how these three allies who share technology have modelled the Ali Burke hull to suit their needs. So that concludes today's briefing. Subsequent briefing, I will look at China's Type 003 and Type 004 aircraft carriers. Thank you for watching. Happy to take suggestions for future briefings for, from subscribers, so please subscribe. Until next time, Vale de Serie.